Yes, in today's video, we're talking all about strawberry skin, chicken skin, keratosis pilaris, and it is one of the most requested videos I've received. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of all these things with some DIYs, as well as some really helpful hacks from myself and dermatologists recommended. So let's jump right in. So since keratosis pilaris comes in many different forms, I wanted to show you some images. This is something more similar to the term chicken skin. Here we have some examples of what people call strawberry legs, but overall this is known as keratosis pilaris, also shortened as KP, which is a skin condition that causes protein to build up and appear as bumps in the skin. This can be really frustrating, so I wanted to show you some of these amazing store-bought and DIY natural remedies and hacks that can help you. So starting off with exfoliating. This is key and I've actually spoken to a dermatologist about this and they said to exfoliate twice a day every other day to really help get rid of the keratin buildup, protein buildup that causes these bumps and this is actually a KP bump eraser body scrub. I'm going to show you how to make this at home a DIY version, but this is the store-bought version. Picked mine up at Sephora. I will have it linked down below, but this is specified for KP. I like to apply this while my skin is wet in the shower, and you guys will see it's just a really sandy, thick exfoliator, but I am going to show you how I make an at-home version, but I definitely recommend this if you're serious about investing in products. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite at-home DIYs that has helped so much with keratosis pilaris, chicken skin, strawberry legs. But first, I have to show you one of my favorite little perfume subscriptions to Dossier. I absolutely love them and I wanted to throw it in here real quick. If you guys love designer scents like Chanel, YSL, Tom Ford, and so many other huge designer staples and don't want to spend the money, you can check out Dossier. They have the exact dupes they smell exactly the same for only $25 a bottle I also have 10% off for you guys using code Anita Samantha 10 on top of a 20% off welcome offer using the link in my bio so make sure you check them out and find a beautiful perfume for you for the holidays as a gift or to spoil yourself with that price you can't go wrong and I have so many bottles from them I love them oh Back to the DIY. You only need three ingredients. The only things you can really substitute in this is the olive oil. You can use coconut oil if you like that better. I don't recommend castor oil because I find that's a little more clogging, but definitely recommend coconut or olive oil. You're also going to need some grounded up coffee and some sugar. So I use three tablespoons of coffee to make this and the coffee is amazing at stimulating the blood flow to help heal your skin and it's ground and thick enough to really exfoliate the skin and I just find it's such a natural ingredient that leaves my skin silky soft and buffed out also, you're going to be needing 2 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of sugar Now, an optional addition is ground cinnamon. This is if you want to also tackle cellulite with this scrub. This is an amazing scrub for getting rid of cellulite as well. So this is optional, but I usually just like to go ahead and add that in for the cellulite benefits. And then I'm going to mix it up and finish it off with two tablespoons of olive oil. This is amazing. It has so many natural antioxidants. It really helps soften the skin, which helps aid in the exfoliation and it leaves it feeling so hydrated and smooth. You guys, I cannot wait for you to try this. DIY you got to let me know how it is in the comment section if you try it because it helps so so much applying is really easy you want to start by wetting your body the area with the most KP or that you want to focus on and then I like to rub in about a handful each area and I go in circular motions because this is really going to help aid the exfoliation and then also you can go in up and down motions now an added tip I've talked about this in my cellulite removing video 
but using this body roller I'll have it linked down below it not just helps remove cellulite and body fat but it also helps aid in blood flow to helping cure the skin and heal the skin so once I'm done the best way to rinse this off is just lash off the scrub it's so easy to come off and it leaves your skin feeling so silky smooth and so soft it's amazing so now let's get into the next tip so next up is something similar to exfoliating except a bit more extreme and there have been so many studies that have shown this helps with keratosis pilaris it also helps with a lot of other skin conditions such as hyperpigmentation dilated pores acne scarring stretch marks alopecia and this is micro needling i'm sure you guys have heard of micro needling a lot of salons actually offer it but i prefer so much doing it at home I do it on my face, on my body, and oh my gosh, it's actually one of my favorites because it has so many different settings, so it's super beginner friendly. I like to keep mine on 0.25 millimeters, but it actually goes from 0 to 2.5, and all the cartridges have individual aseptic packaging, so it's really sterile. You don't have to worry about it getting dirty, and they come with so many, so you can just dispose them after you notice the needles getting dull or you just want a clean set um, I also really like this one because it's wireless and I got it on Amazon for such an affordable price there's also a 30% off link right now that I will have linked in my description for it by the brand Tillman and it's so good one of my favorite features though is it actually vibrates and does the work for you which I think is great especially if you're a beginner and I just love this one it's super high quality super worth it and like I said it's on Amazon so so easy I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this way easier easier than it seems and then we'll go on to some more tips so first I always wash my hands and wash the area where the KP is or where you want to use this micro needling in general then I like to take a new cartridge and it's so easy you just literally pop it in twist it and it is good to go then I like to change the setting so like I said I prefer 0.25 but if you're a beginner the lower it should be and then you can just build your skin up to the higher settings I also like the speed on this to be at a three but there is a little pamphlet that shows you the best speed and a millimeter length combination for your skin and I don't know why I just find this so soothing it doesn't hurt and I know it's helping my skin so I really like to just take my time and enjoy doing this it really does help with so many different skin conditions so I'll link it down below the link I have has a 30% off which made this so affordable I think it normally retails for like hundred and nine dollars but definitely use the Amazon link so you guys can get it for a cheap price also and yeah definitely recommend 10 out of 10 now let's get into some more different types of tips so next step is preventing one of the most irritable things that create KP to worsen, which is shaving. So I invested in this. I actually got it on Amazon by this brand called Dez. I'll link below. So I actually researched this. Studies show that KP protein that causes the bumps can actually build up around hair. So there's a few studies that if you remove the hair from the source, it will no longer have a air for the protein to build around because the hair is gone so investing in some laser hair removal especially one like this at home is perfect for that so I'll have this one linked down below next up is another store-bought item this was also dermatologist recommended um it's called an sa cream it's by sarah v i think this is actually super super popular i did some research before buying it and i've used at least half this tub already and it's just so good um, i like to apply a really good amount and the texture is really silky doesn't have the most amazing smell but oh my gosh does it do the job 
I would recommend putting this on at least once a day. Dermatologists say twice a day, but definitely check this out. I'll link it down below. You can get it from Target. Um, I'll put any links if I find it on Amazon. Yes. And with all of these tips, tricks, and hacks, you cannot go wrong. I'm sure you will see so much improvement. So let me know in the comments below. Try to stick to these things for about two weeks and then give me your results in the comment section. Also, if you made it to the end, comment I finish so I can show you so much love. As always, the coupon codes for everything mentioned will be down below as well as the one for dossier. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon for my new video. Mwah.